Today we're going to use the three steps to sketch method to graph a basic sine graph. We'll graph y equals sine of 2x. So we have our outline of our method. Step one, break down and find all the essentials. Step two, plot your key points. Step three, sketch your first cycle and repeat. And we have our grid on the right. So let's go ahead and jump in with step one, find the essentials starting with A and B. So remember, we are using this method for trig equations in the form y equals a sine bx. So knowing that, it's very easy to identify a and b. So a is an understood one in this case because we know there's an understood one in front of sine. Okay, so our amplitude is one or it matches that of the parent graph y equals sine x. Okay, and here b is the coefficient of x, so b is two. And remember, b tells us how many cycles happen between zero and two pi. And it also helps us find our next piece of essential information, the period. So to find the period, just divide two pi divided by b. So our period will be pi. Okay, and that is consistent with what we just said, that two cycles should happen between zero and two pi, and the period is just the length of one horizontal cycle. So one cycle should happen in pi because we will have two cycles that happen between zero and two pi. All right, next we can find our scale labels. So this is what we count by, what we label our tick marks. We'll start with the horizontal scale labels. To do this with the three steps to sketch method, all you need to do is take the period and divide it by four. And this ensures that each of your key points in the next step will align with your horizontal tick marks. All right, so our horizontal scale will be pi divided by four. And finally, setting our vertical scale, usually you can just use one or use A as your guide. So we will count by ones for our vertical scale. Now let's go ahead and label those. So we'll start with the horizontal scale and we'll label our tick marks counting by pi over four. So one pi over four, two pi over four, which reduces to just pi over two, three pi over four, four pi over four, which reduces to pi. And of course you can keep going five pi over four. You can keep counting exactly like that if you wanted to extend your graph even further. All right, a quick double check here. Your fourth horizontal tick mark to the right of the origin should match your period. Okay, we know that there are four key points in our pattern, which is what our next step will be. So that fourth tick mark should equal your period. And it does, so we should feel really confident we're on the right track. And let's go ahead and label the other side of the axis. So same values, just negative this time. So negative pi over two, negative three pi over four, negative pi, negative five pi over four. All right, so we have our horizontal axes lab axis labeled and we can now count by ones to label our vertical axis. All right, so we have this equation broken down. We've analyzed, we've set up a really nice scale and we're ready to move on to step two, plot key points. So remember the pattern for sine that is not reflected will be zero, max, zero, min, repeat. Okay, so knowing that we are ready to start, we know an unshifted sine graph starts at the origin with a point at zero, zero. Okay, we see that A is one, so we know our maximum will happen at the first horizontal tick mark with a Y value of positive one. Our next point in the pattern is another x-intercept that happens at the second tick mark. Our final point in the pattern, our key point, will be at three pi for four, the third tick mark, and its y value will just be the opposite of a, so negative one. Okay, so you can start to see the sine curve forming. Um, before we move on to sketch step three, I like to go ahead and just put one point in a different color that'll be the start of the next cycle. If you're not using different colors, just put a point. And I'm really just using these different colors to show you this will be the start of a new cycle. 
Okay, so now we can do step three. Sketch this cycle and then repeat to get as many cycles as we want. So we draw our characteristic sine curve. And that is one cycle of sine. So we can see that the length of the horizontal cycle is pi. Okay, so we should feel really good about that. And now we can repeat this for as many cycles as we want. Okay, let's do a cycle starting at negative pi as our first x-intercept. Notice that's four tick marks away from our previous cycle that we graphed. And we just repeat the pattern again. So we have zero max, zero min, and then we would repeat. So you can sketch that in as well. Okay, and one final thing before we finish, if you wanted to extend this graph and do another cycle in the positive part of the x-axis. Note that we could continue. We already sort of continued. We said 5 pi over 4. You would have 6 pi over 4, which would reduce 7 pi over 4. And then you'd have 8 pi over 4. I'm just going to kind of draw it. That would be at 2 pi. And so notice that we could draw another cycle here, and I'm just going to do a messy sketch on here. So we do, we have the zero, max, zero, min, and then you would repeat. So that will help us just see a, a really messy sketch that shows B is two, two cycles happen between zero and two pi. Um, so that's just another connection to make. And a way to double check that you have a graph that is correct. So this was our three steps to sketch method to graph y equals sine of 2x.